I could finish that one thought, yeah. Um, um, briefly. I, so I, what I did is I put a, um, I found an area where there were one tent full of three or four women over here and a small child. And right over there was a woman from Australia and a, with a small child who I saw doing yoga one morning. And uh, she's, I won't mention her name, but people know who, who, who I'm talking about. And, and uh, also uh, in this camp over here, or a friend of that camp over there was Carrie, who later at, uh, what was that, Pennsylvania had her baby in, um, in the Arizona yurt. Um, she's around, you know, she, she her and her little boy. And uh, uh, she, uh, Carrie was at uh, West Virginia and they used to do yoga together there. So I came out and every morning and I'd, I'd teach the breathing and, and uh, talk about Kriya yoga and do chillings. And this woman came from Australia and she came over with a chillum and, and some really good Nepalese hash. And, and she knew people that I had st sort of studied with and stuff. And she knew Ganesh Baba. And uh, she knew Father. And it was like there were a lot of old timers in the, in the Chillum circle that were suddenly, they were linked to Rainbow or they had dipped through Rainbow to see what Rainbow was all about. And they talked about things that were even better than Rainbow. Yeah. How, how they were in Europe. And, and how they were in India and at festivals and stuff. Thousands of people came together. And, and so, in that sense, I knew I was going to the right thing, lending my energy to it to, to feel like, you know, I'm witnessing a cultural phenomenon in the country that I certainly support, having been a, you know, a pothead since I was 16 in the Army. For years, yeah. You know, so. And then the other thing about West Virginia was that I gave a few, uh, you know, I mean, I did the prayers out loud um, um, for a large circle of people. And um, as a result of that, I had, I don't know what, 12 or 13 separate incidences where I uh, helped someone deal with the thing about the two sisters and stuff. So I. You know, I just, I just knew then that my, despite my divorce and despite, you know, my own misgivings about relating to women and stuff, I would, it was okay. I could, um, I could probably relate to a woman again in a, in a close relationship. This is so when I, you decided you could do that. Yeah, at West Virginia, after having been so... How long, how long was the divorce? See, this is the first time you 72. Spoke. 72 was the divorce. Yeah. Okay. So then, um, now, now, Jules, you said what about California and what? What? You said what did you talk about? California and Washington. Well, we're talking about Washington and Idaho first, since they yeah, came back right. from West Virginia, okay. then California. Yeah, well, that's true. I went to um, West Virginia, and then the next one I went to was um, Washington. I left New York on uh, July the 1st, <clears throat> hitchhiking. The cro I walked across the George Washington Bridge. My backpack and everything hitchhiked on the Jersey, on the road in Jersey, and I walked about, I don't know what, three and a half, four miles, and I had my thumb out, and a cop pulled up. And I went through this whole scene, had to pour out about $60 worth of Thai weed. Oh, down no. oh. Disgusting. And this guy says to me, So, Moran? What are you going to do now that you don't have your stuff? And I said, you know what, sir? I said, you'll probably drive off and about five cars will pass and I'll get a ride with somebody from Ohio or something and they'll just have picked up a quarter pound in New York and probably be the best herb I've had all year. And they'll give me five ounces for uh, my misery. For the rest of the, I said, they'll give me a stash for the rest of the road. Yeah. And he says, you really think so, don't you? And I said, I don't know. Could be my luck today. I said, I didn't even get out of the city and I'm already, at least one thing I know is I got no wants, right? <laughs> and he looked at me, you know, because they just got through making me, you know. So he says, I'll tell you what, since you think you're going to catch a ride so fast, 
I think I'll make your uh, ride miss you. So they drove right behind me and made me walk to the exit, which was about a quarter of a mile. Yeah. Right behind me. Yeah. As soon as they drove off, man, went right down to the freeway again. I said, what the hell am I going to get? Nothing more than a ticket anyway. You know what I mean? I don't have any herb on me now. Whatever I was worried about, it's over with. Yeah. Walked down there, and the second car that picked me up, was four kids on their way to Ohio. Ha! They weren't from there. They were from Michigan. And they had, in fact, picked up not a quarter pound, but a half a pound. And they were only too glad when I told them my story and how I told this cop about it to give me just about an ounce of pot. All right. He made it all, all the way right. to Washington. And um, sometime you'll meet him, but uh, he was with me just last night, or night before last, um, on my way to that gathering in Missoula, Montana, early in the morning. Um, with that herb still in my, you know, some of that herb still in my pocket. I met Stacy, Amanda's friend Stacy Stagmartin there um, in the cowboy diner. There. That's Amanda over there. Yeah. My friend Amanda shot him. State College, Pennsylvania. From State College, Pennsylvania. Penn State grad. Anyway, that was, uh, that was getting to, uh, to Washington. And of course I got to Washington and I was really pleased to find out that the Love family had their whole encampment and, and I, you know, I heard Shiva Kalpa family had their encampment and, and uh, the Tipi Circle was, you know, that's an awesome thing when you see 30, 40 Tipis together or whatever, how many there are in a circle. Yeah. And, and you know, and they're dotting the landscape and stuff. It's just, uh, and yurts and portable villages and, you know, that sort of thing. And, and uh, How many people at this gathering? Washington? Oh, probably 12. 12,000? 12, uh, yeah. 10, well, smaller 12. than West Virginia. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah? I'd say so. What was the drop-off? So many people had um, bad times in West Virginia? Well, the West Virginia, what was the gain in West Virginia was the proximity to the east. Oh, okay. okay. It was the first, it was the furthest one to the east that they'd ever been. Okay. So that was basic. And it wasn't the south. So people that might not have even gone to the south came. Yeah. It, it opened up, um, you know, and that was a New York family. That's Joni Freedom and that bunch. That's a New York family that's basically put on West Virginia or grounded. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And then that's how long they've been dealing with the family. And then, um, you know, uh, West Virginia opened it up for, for Pennsylvania. They wanted it right after that, and they didn't get it until 86, but they, they definitely were wanting it back then. There were people in Hole in the, hole in the Wall Gang or whatever they were called, that bunch of things. Different ones out of media and stuff. But anyway, um, so I was really pleased when I got to uh, to Washington to see these different, um, you know, encampments and everything. And um, I, I don't know, I was walking down the path and I saw oh, Hari. I saw Hari. What? Oh, I thought you were no, going to I'm say safe. I'm I saw Hari and I saw his little boy, Max. And uh, I said, well, hi, Max. Where's your dad? And then just like that, there's his dad. And I said, uh, Bom Shankar, Bully not. And he said, Bom Shankar. And when I said that, Love was right over there coming this way to him. Bom Shankar, Bully not. Bom Shankar, Bully not. Jesus Christ, what's going on here? I'm right in the encampment of all the Shiva Kalpas. And there's Jules. And there's Jules. <laughs> there's Jules, who I haven't seen since. <laughs> <laughs> took me to I'll, I'll go get a <laughs> and uh, and uh, so you know, and and so what what do they do to me? I'm there, and I said, you know, I look, just looked around. And I said, okay, well, let's do a chillin', man. Um, where's father? And I uh, could have, you could have, you know, he could have. Whoa. Good one. I didn't know I had any more. I say you could have um, 
It was just like I dropped a lightning bolt or a hot bolt on all of them. They just froze where they were. It was like a movie. Stop frame. And then Harry was the first one. He said, you don't know? I don't know what? 